Despair in that child. A willful insolence shall be the downfall of us all. Here we stand, at the edge of ruin, and yet we have the answer. Caged and bound in irons in the caves below the point, at the mercy of when I choose to provide its sustenance. And for what? For Elizabeth to refuse to sing its song? Asking her to bring back my father's slavish cult? No! Just to help me reopen the hotel and restore its grandeur. Our family's grandeur. All she must do is sing to lure them here in their droves. If not her, then how? There must be some other way. Some method of using my recordings. But how to focus the effects without a singer to wield its intent?
Thomas? Thomas? My uncle Abraham might be on the second floor now. No, but I heard somebody crashing around a few moments ago from somewhere below me. There is a way up to the attic, through my father's rooms in the west wing. You should be able to reach me that way. My uncle was not a man to be trifled with before, and now I am not sure he's a man at all. He's a brute, Thomas. I pray you be careful. Please take care, Thomas.
has run out. Father intends to use his grand harmonium, the machine he has devised tonight, to use the recorded song of that lamentable creature on the household and staff. A dress rehearsal for his grand reopening. One final test before... Oh, I'm not ready. I've tried to compose it myself. Tried until my fingers bled on the keys and my voice cracked. But at last, two composers of the countersong have arrived at the hotel. I must speak with them before the dress rehearsal. I can only pray that this will be enough. I could leave still, slip away. I've thought about it again and again in recent days, but that would only be condemning the others to my father's experiments. No. I must face our family's sins. And if I must, I shall pay the price. Oh, I wish it were not so. I wish I did not have to face this alone, as I fear my strength and resolve might fail. Thomas, where are you? I need you now more than ever, my love.
you? Something just... What was that? What happened? I could hear the sound of... Wait. I thought I heard something here. Somebody is trying the door, Thomas. I must go.
It is done. I have managed to make phonograph copies of three of my father's four cylinders. Three parts of the siren song. The fourth, I've come to realize, is the very same tune as the musical locket that you always wore, mother. The very one which I was so fascinated with as a child. Even as an infant, were you grooming me to take your place as my father now commands? Whatever the truth of your misdeeds, Mother, I want you to know that I've arranged for these fragments of the siren song to be dispatched to four composers. Your locket to go to my dearest Thomas. With his help and theirs, we shall come up with a means to counter the power of the song my father so desperately seeks to control.
here that it is impossible, that it cannot be done, at least not in time. I sit here, sit at these keys day after day, night after night, <laughs> trying to compose some form of counterpoint, some form of countersong to the honeyed lament of that creature. And for what? Am I foolish to hope that this might work? That I can stop my father? One misstep, one false note on my part would be catastrophic. What such a mistake might unlock could be far worse than the siren's enchantments. But what choice do I have? I cannot turn my back on others or allow him to succeed. Without some form of counter, all of us, and many more will be lost, 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 will be lost.
Thomas, my love, come to me. I'm waiting for you by the Grand Harmonium.
Thomas, my love, you're safe. I had to flee the attic. I've been hiding from them ever since. But we must hurry. Do you have the cylinders? Then we cannot waste any time. Quickly, give them to me. Thank you, Thomas. There will be a place for you. Necessary to impose it. A new song was born from the darkness, and together they ruled the new dawn. 